So sometimes in the Xilinx schematic editor, you run into a situation where you need to connect an IO marker uh, to a bus and the widths don't match. So in this case, we want to connect four buttons to a register that is 32 bits wide. So um, if we try and just go ahead and do this, we'll get an error when we run when we check the schematic and it won't let us proceed with our design. So uh, the way to resolve this is you need to, there's two tricks here. One is you need to use a buffer is the first trick. And then the second trick is you need to be able to um, iterate, create multiple instances of that buffer. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm gonna just hit Control X and then Control V to disconnect it uh, from this register here, from that bus. And then what we want to do is we want to go to symbols and we want to look up buff, B-U-F. There it is. We're going to place it right here. And then so you could see that the the line here is a single instance connected to a bus. And that's, that's going to generate an error. Um, see, it's uh, right here, pin I is connected to a bus of a different width. So we need to do the first trick here, which it, or the first trick was adding buffer, a buffer. The second trip is, trick is we need to make the buffer uh, four bits wide. And the way we do that is we can go to symbol, rename selected instance. We're gonna cre uh, check iterated instance name. And then we're gonna go starting value three, ending value zero and then OK. All right, so that's going to make a solid line there connected and we should see that error message go away. We still have this error message, but that one is gone. So next thing we can do is we need to draw out a bus from this register, from this 32-bit register. We're gonna just angle it up here and then we're going to, uh, oops, we're going to connect a bus tap. And the way bus taps work is you click on bus tap, you click on the net that you want to connect to, and then you see it fills out the net name over here. And in our case, we want to connect to three down to zero. So we type that in, and then uh, we need this to face the other way, so right. Now, once we have the proper name, we just click on this and it will slide it over to the right and that's all we need. So that's how we take a um, bus uh, IO marker of one length and connect it to a bus of a different length inside our schematic. So if we just get rid of this and check our schematic, we should see no errors. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.